Hello everybody! Today on the Arduino Uno, we're making a keyboard instrument. Here's what you'll need. Two 10 kilo ohm resistors. A 220 ohm resistor. One mega ohm resistor. Four push buttons. A piezo. and some jumper wires. First, using a jumper wire, connect ground on the breadboard to ground on the Arduino Uno. Then with another jumper wire, connect positive on the breadboard to 5 volts on the Arduino Uno. Attach a piezo on the breadboard and remember the location of the two pins. Next, from the left leg of the piezo, connect it to ground on the breadboard. And from the right leg, connect it to pin number 8 on the Arduino Uno. Afterwards, attach four push buttons connecting the two parts of the breadboard. Then attach a jumper wire from the left leg of the first push button to positive on the breadboard. For the following push buttons, use jumper wires to connect the right legs together. Additionally, connect a 220 ohm resistor from the left leg of the second push button to positive on the breadboard. Now attach a 10 kilo ohm resistor from the left leg of the third push button to positive on the breadboard. Next, connect a 1 mega ohm resistor from the left leg of the fourth push button to positive on the breadboard. Furthermore, attach a 10 kilo ohm resistor from the right leg of the fourth push button to ground on the breadboard. Finally, we can attach a jumper wire from the right leg of the fourth push button to A0 on the Arduino Uno. Now we can connect the Arduino USB cable to our computer by running the code I have provided in the description down below. We can make this even more interesting by using a paper cutout of a keyboard. Here are some songs we played. The piezo is a main component in this project. When you put a voltage across a piezo, it vibrates and creates a tone. And when you press each switch, a different voltage level will pass to the input pin. That is why we hear a unique note associating with each switch. When we open up the serial monitor, we can see that the higher the pitch, the lower the value that is obtained. Here we're playing whole F, E, D, and C. I urge you to go ahead and explore the lines of code. For now, Thank you for watching this video and hope you have a great day ahead.